All right, I am going to have a little bit of help this afternoon with my weather cast. Joining me now is Isabella Rockwell. She is our first junior weather caster of the year. Now, Isabella is a second grader at McWillie Elementary School in Jackson, but when she was a first grader back in the spring, she was in one of our Operation Tornado Talks. Remember, we go to a lot of schools uh, during severe weather season and talk about uh, weather safety. Well, we encouraged all the students to take a selfie in their safe spot send them to us and we're going to pick a couple of those to be a junior weather caster and isabella was really eager to do that so here she is she was our junior weather caster the first of a couple that we're going to have over the next couple of weeks so we've been practicing our weather casting earlier this afternoon and isabella is going to tell us about the weather so isabella what are we seeing on the map here so um so we have clear skies, right? Mm -hmm. And our winds are coming in from the southwest. From the southwest. Yes. That's right. So that's helping to warm us up. Mm -hmm. The reason it's clear is because of what? The eight just means high pressure. That's and right. And the high pressure is making the sunny day. That is exactly right. See, she learned a whole lot uh, this afternoon and back in the spring. Because we have clear skies, uh, there's nothing on Live I Max 12, right? There's no rain to no. talk about. So let's talk about something fun like the fair. So the um, fairgrounds, it's um, it's warm outside, right? Yeah, it's sunny it's, and warm. Yeah, it's um, 83. 83 is our current temperature, uh -huh, and our and humidity is, is 22 percent, which is pretty low. So it feels pretty good outside, right? And yeah. you haven't been to the fair yet, but you're going, right? Mm -hmm. You're going later this week, so that'll be good. All right. So tonight's low temperatures. So in Jackson, it's going to be um, 55. 54 yeah. degrees under 54. partly cloudy skies, and then tomorrow is what? Um, it's 85 and partly cloudy. Partly, that's exactly right. So there you go, Isabella, our first junior weather caster. We're going to see Isabella in just a second. I'm going to finish out our weather cast here. Thank you so much, Isabella. Now let's talk about, we talked about the good weather. Now let's talk about some cloudy and some wet weather headed our way because we're looking at the tropics here and all of this is going to be kind of headed up in this direction. We're going to see an area of low pressure developing right there to give us clouds and some rain southeast of Jackson starting about the middle of the week. So tomorrow is dry, just like Isabella told us, but, to, uh, but by Wednesday we're looking at potentially widespread, even heavy rain south of Hattiesburg. Now, not as much rain the farther north you go, so unfortunately, low chances for us, and we're going to keep those low chances of rain in the forecast for Thursday and Friday as our next front approaches. Take a look at Wednesday, though. We're not looking for a lot of rain, but I do think it could be widespread, so about a half inch. Uh, you might get a few sprinkles as far north as the metro. Now, let's talk about that tropical weather. Lydia and Max here, they're both going to be headed into Mexico, where they're going to die over the mountains of Mexico, but but there's also another little tropical wave down in the Gulf Coast or the southern Gulf of Mexico. Don't think this is actually going to develop into a storm, but some of that moisture, again, will head in our direction. Then we've got a healthy tropical wave farther to the east that may get a name. The next name in the, on the list in the Atlantic Ocean is Sean. So forecast for tonight, increasing clouds. Temperatures will be in the mid-50s and then mid-80s tomorrow with a mix of sun and clouds. Here's a look at our next eight days. A little bit of rain Wednesday through through Friday, then Friday as that rain comes in, well, it's going to bring a front, which is going to cool us down for the second weekend of the State Fair. I don't know about y'all, but I think Isabella did a fantastic job. Oh, she did great. Yeah, she, she did, did a, a great job. job. I love about the humidity <laughs> and um, the, the the pressure. Right. The the yes. And by the way, this is uh, Owen. This is uh, uh, yeah, well, I, said his, I said Lydia. I meant Isabella. <laughs> Isabella, yeah. and this is her dad, Owen Rockwell. Mm -hmm. And has she ever expressed interest in weather before? Uh, yeah, I think yeah, she yeah. likes to, to keep track of what's <laughs> going on. You know, As especially. one should in Mississippi. <laughs> she definitely can change fast. <laughs> now, I, I will tell you that um, when I saw Isabella, I recognized her. 
uh, because I was the one that went to her school to McWilly Elementary, and I remember that she asked a lot of questions. I was going to say, wow. did that hand okay. keep going up? Yeah, exactly. So she was very <laughs> eager to send in the picture and become a junior weathercaster. Well, so. you know, this could become a career. Yeah. You know? But I moved to a different house now. Oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean that yeah. you still couldn't become, yeah. when you go to school, right. go to college, you could become yeah. a meteorologist. And 20 years ago, I'm sure I'm not going to want to do this anymore, so you can take my place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about that? Wouldn't All that right. be good? good well, we enjoyed it. Yes, and we have we have more junior weathercasters that are coming. We'll have one coming Wednesday and one coming next Monday. Right. Right. That is wonderful. Yeah. And it's such a good program there they do about learning how to to find your safe place and all of that because we have had them over the years actually say they had to use it. They, yes. they yeah. have they, had to they go really to do their learn safe. what to do they during do. severe weather and it, it helps them yeah. and their families and that's the whole yeah, point she of operation. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, no, no. We have to find a safe room. Yeah. That's right. All right. Thank you very much.